Howdy folks, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to reveal to you what me and my dad have made our very first month being monetized. I'm gonna run you through our experience, what we did right, what we did wrong, some tips and tricks to be monetized quicker and to make more money, AKA higher CPM niches. That's right, this is considered a cash cow high CPM uh, niche, which basically means we earn probably four times as much per thousand views as the average like YouTube vlogger. And I know that to be a fact because I am a YouTube vlogger. My main channel with 40,000 subscribers is just a vlog channel it has a cpm of about six dollars this channel you'll you'll see the cpm make me a deal if you get any value or inspiration or just good information out of this video hit that like button and subscribe maybe even share with a friend and if not totally cool couple things hopefully this video sounds good because i got a new mic in the mail today just bought this bad boy and i got a pimple so that's awesome anywho let's get into the video so First, I'm gonna run you through kind of the beginning of the channel. Now, a year and a month ago, me and my dad decided to start this channel. So I obviously know how the YouTube game works. I understand SEO, Photoshop to make good thumbnails, how to edit good videos. I can create the channel art and stuff, even though you, you can see this channel art's pretty lame. I haven't, this was since day one, but basically I have the um, YouTube experience. And then he obviously went to law school for seven years. He's been practicing law with his own law firm. He owns his own law firm for many years, does very well for himself, very knowledgeable, the best lawyer in town. And uh, we're like, screw it. I've got my skill set. You've got yours. And this happened of March of 2020. It's April of 2021. So it was about a year and a month ago. And it was during COVID. And he was had his business working part time to get those PPP loans. He made a steal off those. I don't know if I should say that, by the way. Anyway, so he brought the whole office down to part time. He was barely working. He wanted something to do. I wanted to make more money, more business opportunity, right? So we decided to team up when we started with one video a week. And that very first video, let's pull it up. That very first video, now we made this one a long time ago just to kind of promote, uh, he, he just wanted to do a little PSA. But this right here was his very first video. What to do when, no, no! Oh God, where'd it go? What to do when getting pulled over. Then obviously his second video, clearly because we were in the, uh, middle of the pandemic or the very beginning of it, I should say, we started making these videos. And then from there, we primarily focused on high value content. So what we kind of do is infotainment, kind of like this channel. It's entertaining and it's informational, right? So it gives people a reason to come back, a reason to subscribe because you're providing them the value and information that they want to know while also being entertaining. So this was our approach. We wanted to do that. We wanted to provide value to the people but also structure it in a way where we can make a legitimate business. And how we did that was with evergreen content. Now, if you'd like me to go into much more detail on like really specifically how we pulled together this channel, because I mean, you, you can get started with the information I'm going to give you, but if you want to, you know, actually start making money within your first year, then I'll have to make a whole nother video. Let me know down below if that sounds interesting. But as you can see here, we've got understanding the US court systems. That's evergreen, meaning that's never going to go out of style, right? I upload on my, no, quit doing this. Oh, I do like the pupper though. So for example, on my channel, I'll upload a vlog. It's be like, hey, here's a vlog, right? I get a few thousand views and then over the next week, it just kind of dies. Then I do it again. A couple days later, a few thousand views, then it dies. It's up and down. I got to keep feeding the beast. But with this, he posts a video that's, you know, generic topic, like understanding US court systems. And I'll just pull this up so you can kind of get some ideas of stuff he's done. And um, it's evergreen, right? So getting a ticket and, uh, you know, getting divorced right here and custody visitation and how money laundering works. These videos, they're evergreen. They're going to be around forever. So when I post a video, it goes up, I get instant gratification and then it dies. But his, you post it, gets a, you know, couple views maybe. But over time, you've got this bank of videos that will live forever on YouTube past our lifetime. And that's where the value is. And so you want evergreen content that will just continuously pay you. Think about investing in a bunch of little houses, a bunch of little uh, real estate properties. You know, you've bought a little house here, a little house there, a little house here. You've got people renting them out. And then you've got, you know, little streams of income coming in consistently every single month. Then you just buy more houses, right? It's basically like teeny tiny little real estate, if that makes sense. All of these videos are making a little bit of money every single day as they all grow and gain momentum. And we're about a, a year and a month in, we're just now starting to take off and we, we've got monetized about a month ago. You got 12K views there. Here, let me just go ahead and pull up the most viewed. Let me zoom back out here. He's got 2,160 subscribers, which is pretty good. But to be fair, I jumped him up about 500 views because I just shouted him out from my main channel. So I got him 500 subs right out of the gate, but let's check it out. 
So here are his most successful videos. He's got the history of meth, 12,000, history of heroin, 12,000, uh, Rico, basically what is racketeering. He's got 7,000 on that, 4,000 on the history of cocaine, DUI series, what is money laundering. And of course, all of these are evergreen content. You know, then he does stuff every once in a while like this, like a YouTuber got shot and he made a video like this two months ago and it shot up to 880 views. Oh, I guess we collabed on that one. So evergreen content, that's really what's gonna help you build up that watch time you need and obviously the income because to be monetized on YouTube, you need to get 1,000 subscribers, which is very difficult, and 4,000 watch hours, which we underestimated greatly. I mean, we were doing this for eight months and we're only halfway there. Our goal was to do it in one year. At the eight month mark, we were barely halfway. We're like, this isn't gonna work. But as you'll see in the analytics I'm gonna show you, the exponential kind of snowball effect does kick in. You flatline, one person turns to two, two turns to three, three turns to six, nine, 12, and then it just takes off and that's how it goes. But the other key is a high CPM niche. I'm gonna make a video talking all about high CPM niches soon. I'm gonna tell you which ones are high CPM. What does that even mean? How can you raise your channel's CPM like I did to my vlog channel to double its income the next month? A lot of tips and tricks to make even low CPM niches make a little bit more money. So between evergreen content that's gonna be relevant for the rest of your life, that makes more money than everybody else's videos, that's the key. That's what we've done here. And, you know, you've heard a lot of people talk about having success in like the first three months. Like, for example, I watched a video of uh, Ryan Panetta. He was talking about how much he made his first month monetization. I am nowhere near that amount of money. He made like six grand his first month. He started from scratch month one, you know, day zero. And then in three months, he was already monetized making $6,000. That's insane. I mean, the dude was already very well off to begin with. He was able to do like six videos a week, afford a whole crew and, and very high production. So this, I think, is going to be a good representation of a realistic, I mean, back then, like we didn't have a huge budget. Like if you go back and watch his videos, you'll see it's like bad audio quality. The set is uh, just his room, basically his, his office and his house. So this is definitely what you can expect. And I, I like to tell people if you buckle down three to four videos a week in a good evergreen niche and making quality content, give people a reason to come back, then I would expect 12 months, just 12 months, you can get monetized. That's what happened to us. Stick with it because we're going to hop into the analytics here. But as you can see here, he's been doing daily uploads, keeping up with this George Floyd trial. Now, this goes exactly against what I just said. This isn't evergreen. These are daily trial updates, day 12, day 13, day four, every single day. These are just, you know, normal, not evergreen content. It's not even that high CPM. It's higher than most videos, but not crazy like his other videos, like how to get out of a traffic ticket or uh, what to do in a DUI. So, but this did help fuel the fire. So he was already starting to take off. This helped just fuel the fire. Daily uploads, everybody subscribing. And luckily he was getting like anywhere from two to 400 views a day on this, which is absolutely insane. All right, so as you can see right here are his lifetime analytics for views. Now you can see our first video was in March. It was right after my birthday, March 21st. This is when the pandemic, pandemic was hitting. And as you can see, he started out of the gate with some pretty good views, right? This is absolutely not what's going to happen whenever you upload your first videos. I mean, even on this channel, I promoted it like once, but this was basically because me and my dad gave away about a hundred bucks each. And that's why the first few days, maybe the first week he was doing pretty good. But as you can see, just a, almost a week later, he came back down to reality getting you know, just a few views, you know, 13. And then, okay, maybe I'll promote another one and stuff like that. But he did have a few videos actually do pretty good because he was talking about like stimulus and stuff like that. But as you can see, when we kind of go out, he's, you know, like 40, 50, he's got some big videos here and there, but those are pretty much stimulus updates and COVID related information. And uh, I mean, look at that, like 20 to 30 forever. And I mean, this is a month in and we're really not consistently doing that much better. So you can see a month later, we're still getting the same about 40 to 50 views a day with, you know, some good videos here and there every once in a while, but no one's really subscribing all that much. And then, you know, it just slowly starts. Okay, now we're kind of hanging around in like the 50 to $100 range. I mean, this is all the way in October. We're jumping up a little bit. We're growing, we're growing, we're growing. You know, get another good video, another good stimulus video, whatever he makes that blows up and then it keeps going, keeps going. But as you can see, I mean, even from January all the way to March, like we have not gone up that much at all. But then finally, just about a month ago, things started to kind of take off a little bit. Then we got that monetization. Boom, we got monetized right around this area. 
So keep note in this right before my birthday, which is the 21st. I think it's been a little over maybe a couple days over a month since it's actually been monetized. And as you can see, he was doing it pretty good. And then that jumped us up and then boom, we got monetized. I'm gonna pull us back so you can see. Notice how only a couple weeks after we got monetized, YouTube's like, ah, they're making money. We're making money. Let's go. And they just shot us up. And this is where we're at right now. And this is with a couple videos taking off that I'll show you. And then the daily uploads also helps fuel this fire. So, I mean, as you can see, the exponential growth is crazy. I'm really excited to see where this goes in the future. And uh, right now we're, we're probably peaking and we'll go back down a little bit. Then we'll do it again. So the exponential snowball thing has kicked in. I just punched the mic. I'm going to go ahead and show you the income in the last 28 days. Now there's like a couple day overlap. And this is pretty much basically the first month. We started like halfway through March, I think. And then now we're about halfway through April. So this is pretty much a month, but we'll just do the last 28 days. So here it is. We made $186 our first month monetized, which is insane because I was making $186 my uh, last year, this same time last year with 30,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I was making about $150 a month on AdSense revenue. He's got 2,000. I had 30,000. He has 2,000 making more than I was making with 30,000. That's why you need the high CPM evergreen content. So as you can see, I remember our first day, we got about two bucks. And this is, you know, a, cu a couple days are cut off here, but we we're starting about $2 to $1.50, just like that for the first couple days. Then we jumped up $3, like, hey, new record. Whoa, $4. I remember we were celebrating big time at $4. And, you know, of course it kind of drops off and then it builds up. It's like, whoa, new daily record, kind of going, kind of going. And then this is when things started to take off a little bit more. Hey, we made $6 that day. Oh, we made 10 bucks. I remember we were freaking out, or nine bucks. We were freaking out about nine bucks. And then we were like, hey, are we ever going to break 10? I don't know. And we were kind of teeter and totter on there. Then boom, jumped up to almost 10. And then we got it. I remember we high-fived big time this day. And then from there, it's just kind of been going crazy with these daily uploads. And he's got other videos taken off. And I mean, it's just, we've been at 20 bucks last night, $21 yesterday, $21 a day before. I suspect we'll be right around there again based off of the numbers today. And as you can see, views, we're up 20.9 thousand views than usual. So we got 21,000 video or views more than normal since we got monetized. We got monetized and then we just jumped up 21,000 more views. We've almost got 3.4 thousand watch hours just in the last 28 days. It took us like, what was it? It took us, tw yeah, 12 months to get 4,000 watch hours. Now we've almost done it in 28 days. Subscribers, dude, he was getting literally probably here. Let's, I'll just show you the analytics. Past 28 days. Past 28 days, man. One, four, seven. Just kind of, you know, no subscribers. And then we were jumping up. And then for some reason, it's not showing the analytics from the 12th to 15th. But two days ago, he got 99 subscribers. Yesterday, he got like 95 for some reason, it doesn't update on the desktop version as quick as it does on the other one. But I mean, you can tell like things just start to take off. Monetize down here. And we thought this was balling, right? And then it's starting to take off and we're still going. About $186 our first 28 days. And um, I'm, I'm, I mean, if it sticks at this rate, we'll be making $600 a month next month. If we flatline at this price, I mean, it'll be pretty good for our first month. And you can see a subscriber live count right there, 2,167. And we are a month and one year in. He's got this video really taken off. So this is the last views in the 48 hours. As you can see, this video alone has 4,200 views in the past 48 hours. History of meth has 823. That is 540. But our views will drop off just a little bit because he isn't doing those daily uploads, right? So as you can see down here, these daily uploads are, they were doing pretty good, right? This has 400, this has 360. So what I'm hoping is we kind of probably will come back down to about $15 a day just for a little bit. And then, you know, I mean, that history of heroin, the history of meth and the cocaine, those history of videos, they are taking off big time right now. And then we've got, looks like money laundering with 113 views in the past 48 hours, fentanyl, racketeering. Those videos are slowly starting to, to catch up. And you know, you've got this one history of heroin video. This one's doing super good over 2000 views a day. And then people are watching the other history of then they're watching the other ones. Then eventually they run out and then they're wandering off into the how money laundering works and stuff like that. So it's really cool to see kind of one video take off and then it just turns into subscribers. The subscriber sees his daily uploads and then they just wander off and 
watch more of his other content. It's, it's literally super fun to watch happen. And yeah, I mean, that's how much I made my first year. Well, first month, I guess. This was basically the first year of doing this YouTube channel. Let me know down in the comments below if you also want me to make a tutorial on how to get a high CPM evergreen uh, niche. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal some niches here soon. So hit that like button if you're ready for that. And then maybe I'm probably gonna give you a list of like five to 10 and I'm gonna describe to you why they earn more, how this all works, and everything you basically need to know to hopefully pick one off that list and go run with it and have similar results. And who knows, maybe another year from now we'll be at, you know, maybe then we'll be at the six, 10, 15, 20, $50,000 a month period. But um, I'll update you pretty much whenever the next time we get another big spike. As you can see in the month, we were getting from $2 a day to over $20 a day. So even this first month, you know, we, we're not making a ton of money, but we ha still have made a lot of progress in daily income. So if anything else crazy happens, I'll let you know. And my, cam my camera just shot off. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. I really hope this video helped you out, uh, motivated you, gave you some ideas, maybe had you look at going about YouTube a little bit differently. And that's another reason why I'm emphasizing so much on this channel and my dad's channel versus my blog channel that has 40,000 subscribers. I mean, these channels are much smaller, but they have way more potential. And hopefully this opened your eyes as well. Uh, if you got any value, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the, the notification bell. If you like the shirt I'm wearing, I sell those on my store and I will see you in the next video. He got his nine. I've got my nine. Boss squad out.